as of now, we have learned a lot about basics and fundamentals of testing. And to understand what exactly is the entire process of releasing a product into the market. But we would also like to understand more that what happens to a product once it is released into the market. Is there anything else we need to take care of? And what are the more other activities which an organization may be responsible for in order to deliver the quality in the product continuously over a period of time? And that is what we will be discussing in more detail today. friends and greens for the day welcome back to another episode of testing in nutshell this is Neesh Kumar Singh and today we are talking about what exactly maintenance testing and what all other major activities or minor activities which maintenance testing deals with we know that there are a lot of activities which are being performed in order to deliver a quality product but we do have to understand there are many such activities or many such aspects of testing which might not be delivered while we have the very first release happening into the market and there are many such things which remain or uh, cannot be completed due to the complexity due to the time pressure or probably due to the lack of information which you might have to have in order to perform or resolve those issues then we cannot do all those things but yet we release a, release a product into the market now when it comes to such things what we could not do while having our proper iteration or a particular release of a particular application, then all these pending things will be uh, professionally, formally documented in order to take care of it once the release happens or probably later than that. And that's where maintenance team comes into picture. The maintenance team is highly responsible for making sure that anything which was not completed during the main release is now going to be taken care of. And the major responsibilities of maintenance team is to talk about update, upgrade, migration and retirement of the product. Now, as soon as a particular application or product is released, the maintenance team takes over the entire artifact of the application and starts analyzing that what were the things we could not implement or what were the defects we wish which could not be resolved. Is there anything which we get from the user based on the real time interaction of the product? And if those feedbacks are quite you know, worthwhile, we do accept that as a part of the updates. Now, generally, these updates are something which you add as an enhancements to the existing live application, which is in order to make sure that one of the feature which was not working proficiently is now going to work more efficiently. Additionally, when you think that there are no more updates, rather we are looking forward to revise a quick feature or rather uh, change over the entire UI but the functionality remains the same or you have such ideas in your mind which comes from different sources like it can be from the client, it can be from your past experience, it could be from the user perspective as well and many such things involved. Once you decide that, you go with an upgrade. So that's the difference between update and upgrade when you talk about uh, providing small fixes and patches in order to update an existing application and moving from one version to another version of a release is called as upgrade. So yes, moving from XP to Windows 7 is called as an upgrade. But within that you had Service Pack 1, Service Pack 2, Service Pack 3. These were the updates provided to you. When you come to migration, it generally deals with whether an application or product is uh, eligible to be installed in different platforms or different environments. So say for example when you created this product or application for the first time and you tried this or the requirement was only for Windows or uh, any particular operating system like Linux or Macintosh. Tomorrow, maybe in future, the client comes up with a requirement that now our organization is looking forward to move into Linux environment. Though this application was only for Windows, is there a possibility that now we can install this or use this in Linux environment or not? Now migration deals with those things. It's just an example that I'm talking about an operating system. It can be related to any part of the configuration in which the system works. Even when you talk about the servers, moving from another one platform to another server or moving from a local server to cloud-based application, all these things will be covered as a part of migration. Now, maintenance testing team will take care of it. 
And last but not the least, when you talk about the retirement being the most important part of it, it's to decide then when nothing can be really updated in this. And we will decide on moving into something as a new product altogether rather than looking forward to update, upgrade or modify anything in existing live applications. So you come up with a all new branded uh, product just like windows so windows have been providing a lot of services in order to update upgrade and you know give you a lot of different versions but finally windows 10 has retired so we are looking forward to a new product called as Linux, which is going to be probably a you know combination of windows and linux the user friendliness of windows and uh, the security of linux thus the product name is going to be Linux so far so that's another thing which we wanted to understand from maintenance testing point of view. But is that all? They just take care of making sure that what things are not done should be done and keep providing you a quality product from time to time? No. The main thing behind the screen which happens every time an update, upgrade or migration happens is the regression testing. Team regression testing has a clear objective that it is done in order to verify if the changes to a particular part of the application has no side effect on the unchanged part of the application. Now every time you try to update something, that means you are trying to insert a new piece of code to something or an application which is already working absolutely fine. Now there is a possibility that when you try to insert a new piece of code into this piece of application, it might be possible might it's not always mandatory but might be possible it may have an adverse effect on the remaining application as there are a lot of users which are already using this product right now it is live into the market it is very very important for the maintenance team to run the regression test to make sure that everything is still working fine now that happens in any case whether you talk about update upgrades at migration so we just take care of that everything else is still working fine when you try to make any kind of changes to the product now with that again you may have 10,000 test cases or maybe more than that for a particular release and what if your product invites you to do modifications in your application probably every week or maybe every fortnight for example when you talk about the e-commerce websites you talk about banking applications they have one or the other update happening quite frequently now, executing these 10,000 test cases is not an easy job. No matter you talk about automation, you tell me that regression testing is often automated, but still 10,000 test cases a week or probably even a fortnight could be highly complex to address. So, we make use of something called as impact analysis. But impact analysis is a study which tells you that how an application has dependency between the modules. So say module 1 is having a following module or directly connected to module 3, 4, 5. Now 3 is in turn connected to 7, 8 and 5 is connected to 11 and 12 and so on. Now this impact analysis will help you to understand that how a change is going to impact my rest of the application. And the most important part is impact analysis helps the maintenance team to recognize the areas where regression testing should be done. And that's how if a maintenance team makes use of impact analysis, they can reduce their effort of regression testing to a very high extent. Now that's where impact analysis plays a very vital role in maintenance testing to reduce the efforts on regression testing. It can be say, say that, that instead of running 10,000 test cases, this module which you have updated is having linkage to only five modules thus probably another 500 or a thousand test cases would be required to be executed as a part of maintenance testing so that's how we must understand that what exactly maintenance testing is what are the different activities which takes place as a part of it additionally how what is the role of regression testing and how the effort of regression testing during maintenance can be reduced by making use of impact analysis but that's not all of course if you get deeper into that you'll find a lot more things to explore about maintenance testing alone but as this is a simple video where we talk about testing in nutshell so this is what the overview of maintenance testing is all about if you have anything else beyond this if you have any questions in your mind regarding maintenance testing feel free to comment below i'll there i'll be always there 
to address your queries and answer them well. So that's all from this particular episode team. I hope you had really great takeaways from this session. We'll be getting back to you with such interesting videos in future as well. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching the video team. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring and keep understanding the context. Take care and happy learning.